I'll tell you what, guys. Let's play an experiment tonight. Find anybody other than me and 82 and Brown Horn. It's the last five to seven minutes of his gate, and I'll take my antenna down. I think the whole world disappeared at exit 24 or 22. You got me and 82 rocking the exit 18. Oh, poor 250. <laughs> God, I hate listening to homos when they think they um, achieve something. John, you did make the trip. John, you did. I just was not keying up with you. That's the whole thing, my man. John, but you did make the trip. But let my side of the video game show when I was keying up with you. That's all. All right, I got to go up to the kitchen. I can't stand all this bickering. The last five to seven minutes of Brown's Gate tells that story. Congratulations, 82. You're gonna put one two seven in the Great Depression now. I think you went to go smoke. But two five of homo is obsessed, obsessed with Richie, dude. Feeling good right about now. Well, I think he already smoked one, John. He must have already smoked one if he thought Brown Horner said that. And while he's saying that, who do you hear in his radio? While Brown Horn is talking at those moments, who are you hearing in his receive? I guess people just hear what they want to hear. He's trying to get on frequency. Leave that man alone. He on Red Hook transmit. Don't worry, y'all. I'm not no Dr. Love. I ain't gonna come out here acting crazy and playing no damn music. We're talking to Leroy. Leroy, you gotta get the fuck out of here. Leroy, you You gotta love Doc. Now, now I don't get to hear too far of Blahomo for the rest of the night while I'm up in the kitchen cooking. I'm clear. <laughs> that's a lie, Richard. You know that's a damn lie. Hey, Doctor Love, Doctor Love, you take it, you take it. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. They called you because they want to know what you talk about with Chinese this and Chinese that. <laughs> and, uh, uh, take it easy on John Shaft, Doc. Doc, take it easy while I'm up there cooking on John Shaft. I gotta go. What the hell is he talking about? John, you wanna know I turned my head. And, you know, you, you should know when I, when I hand it, when I'm on my mic, but when I hand back radios and other people's equipment, man, they get a hand back with lights on white, so I'll be back. We know the real deal in that field because we know the people that actually see you and hang out and deal with Richie. Not the people out here talking like they're hanging Richie, but the people talking like they live in Richie's underwears. Okay, I'm back up, I'm down. Night. Shame on the devil, man. Yeah. Hold on, let me put that off. I want to hook up this day going 2950. Now, let me see what kind of watch I got coming up. Let me see where I got this thing sitting at. Hold on. Oh, it don't matter, because as long as you ain't got a stock mic directly into the radio and you got that box, ain't none of it reading correctly or true. Don't forget, he's a dignitary. <laughs> oh, Mr. Enforcer finally got it. He understands presidential appointment now. Who's, who's your daddy, man? Yo, you should have heard him last night out here begging, don't say my name was, but it's a whole right over right flag waving. Okay, I'm going up to the kitchen. This video gate just went platinum. The king. Yeah, All right, I was just checking to see if uh, he was home. Does that mean he should still have some kind of copyright?
five to seven minutes of his video gate. Me and 82 are the only ones in there. While Brown is talking, saying who he heard, look who his radio is hearing. Try to pay attention now, sir. But I don't want to have to reschool you again in the morning. Now I'm going up to the kitchen to cook. Y'all can wallow in all of that. The sound king is clear. And, and, and yo, try not to hear what you want to hear. Try to hear what that radio's microphone, try to hear what that phone's microphone is hearing in that video. I'm clear. And when you find my side of it, you're going to have a lot of broken hearts watching me go on and on. <laughs> yes, I know, man. Yeah. It does if I'm getting accused of being keyed on and I'm not keying on with the words you're hearing in his gate. If you're hearing the same words in my gate, it sure doesn't matter a whole lot. I'm making sense. It sure doesn't matter a whole lot. If y'all duck pluckers are saying somebody keying on me, but yet you're hearing the man say the same thing in my gate, you hear him saying in Browns, is it clear that she's not even on the key with him? I'll be back. It's very important. Last five to seven minutes, me and 82 own that fucking receive. I'm gone. Key, he was just getting keyed over. <laughs> he can't. 250, you have a broken heart when he goes and watches that gate. Yeah, hey, Mr. 250, let me not break your heart and tell you the last time you were heard of that gate was exit 24. Me and 82 are rocking down to 18. I gotta go. Hey, he didn't hear me. Hey, 82, Mr. 250 blow don't realize the last exit he was heard at was exit 24. He doesn't realize me and you were in there to the end when he clicked it off at exit 18 to 16. I gotta go. Well, eat those S meter readings, Richie. <laughs> All right, I'll be back, man. I don't want to be the reason any cackling homo spilling shiz all over your channel. I'm gone. Now, why don't you key down now and see if he hears you? I happen to know for a fact in Pennsylvania, the base station, they don't hear none of y'all, just me. <laughs> they don't even hear John Shaft. They don't even hear John Shaft at the goddamn uh, panty snatch at 20. It's just me, three pounds, solid. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm telling you the way it is, you don't believe me, ask Mikey. If you don't believe me, ask Mikey what his brother's Pennsylvania base station hears out there every morning. Which base station of the year coming out of New York City? I'll be back. Every morning. Richie, I'm not out here early that morning. Hey, Richie, I guarantee you, if I come out here early that morning, brother, I'll beat your brains at death. Well, John, you're welcome to do that, but I can't recall Mikey saying any given time Patty Snatcher heard John Shaft in the base station. Have a good day. I'm gone. <laughs> As long as you realize that we're, that I'm correct. You do a good job out there, homie. But ask Mikey if Panty Snatcher hears your base station when you are out there in the morning in that Pennsylvania receive. I'm clear. Yeah, he's a pussy. He's on another channel. Now, my apologies, John. I, I bumped my radio slide of the thing. You ask Mikey at any given time when you're out there, John Shev, if Panty Snatcher got you in that base receive. And when he says to you guys, the only base station being heard coming out of New York City in the morning shows and my brother's radio is Richie. I'm gone. Of course, I'm not out here. Oh, poor 2 5 of homo. Uh, I, he wants to stack up against me. He disappears at exit 24. 82, you can work with him. I'm gone. Yo, five o'clock. He's nervous and frustrated. Man, the way he's fucking up that radio. You know, he likes to key on people when they're not even out here. That's the funny shit. I'm not out here at 5 a.m., so... Well, you know, you're crying about John Shaft keying on me tonight, but if you're hearing Brown Horner's video gate and John Shaft's words, and you're hearing John Shaft's same words in my video gate, does that mean I'm getting keyed on, or does it mean I'm not keyed up? Watch Brown Horner's gate. Make sure you pay attention to Richie's words. Richie's words in Richie's video gate. Of course it's very important, bro. It's very important. It's the truth, the whole truth, nothing but truth. The last five to seven minutes of Brown's gate, and uh, when I was keying up in my gate. Okay. Bye, girls. You, uh, 
take basket to carry water, you put your food on fire, and when you get home, your food shall be burned because there is no water in the basket at all. Is that same thing going on in Brooklyn and Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of them like that bug taste, uh, that's not nice, uh, that's not good. Because the last person I know tried to carry water in a basket. They never got it, so I don't know, man. I never see it happen. I'm not quiet. I don't know how you gonna make it. The water gonna be a man on the ground, okay? That's what I'm trying to say, John. Basket cannot carry water, John, but a lot of people try to carry, carry, carry water in baskets. I don't know why they do it, and they know definitely that baskets don't carry water. I'm not quiet. Hush your mouth. Are you ain't supposed to be at his school with nobody, sir, and blah, blah, blah. Hey, John, they didn't understand that. Yeah, we don't understand. This guy's crashing his head. This is the third man trying to be there. <laughs> but you guys are just starting to realize that? <laughs> Stupid. Hello, lady. Oh, come on. The guy is full of shit. I think he just needs a hug. I think 127 needs a hug. I'll hug that motherfucker with a porcupine. Thanks to my cat. Fuck. Hey, Brown Hall, I'm gonna see if I can get in your radio. Hey, Brown Hall, why you still got that water get rolling and he's trying to get back on the video game? Brown Hall and John Shab, John Shab, big apple, John Shab is gone. Brown Hall, 2950, bring it, bring it. 0250, back wide. Birdman, Birdman. Yeah, I say screw them, man, John. How about a brown hornet, brown hornet? That should be good right there, sir, for break, break. No, it's worse, it's worse. Gotta get down some more. There's no surface, small. Sounds good, eh? Dr. Love, I haven't heard him out there. Where's D.L.? He's 
them hiding under his hospital bag of the and Larry the Birdman out there with them nunchucks. I'm right here, Fargo. Fargo, I've been here for a while, man. Reading them damn mail, I've been here, Fargo. Top of the nighttime to you on back line. All right, I just want to make sure you're right. Hey, uh, Dr. Love, I just wanted to make sure you're right, man. You're, you're good in my book. You're my friend. So you heard all the commotion. It was a friendly key down there. It was all for fun. Dr. Love, you take care. 250, back quiet. I've been reading the mail as Richie run his mouth. I've been reading the goddamn mail and I'm back out. And he got stuff like a turkey on Thanksgiving and I'm back quiet. Next time you give him a wishbone. So they keep us up and say they keen on somebody, he just make a wish that he did. <laughs> I like that, Doc. Not the karate chopping. That's ready to chop. I'm with the ninja. Whatever you do. Come up out of the sewer and grab his ass. Oh no, the first motherfucking thing he pointed at is Birdman. Nobody gonna know, just do it like a ninja turtle. Just come up out the sewer and grab it. Yo, you don't get it, motherfucker. You see the video. Dr. Love said in the video. The first thing is getting pointed at is me, motherfucker. And it can be you, 250. I started that video, I watched 30 seconds of it and sent it right to Brown. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bert, I don't want to break out. Don't say nothing. But the first person to be Birdman. I just bring the video to life, man. That's all we could ask, man. Just bring the video to life. That's all. Just let your body and your hands catch up to your lips and we all be I, right. The king. The king!